Has India changed from the Nehruvian era? Absolutely. For us, secularism doesn't mean being non-religious. Uh, for us, secularism means uh, equal respect uh, to all faiths. I think uh, people today are less uh, hypocritical about uh, their uh, beliefs, about their traditions, about their culture. I would say we are not Indian. Uh, we are not authentic. But there's a paradox about modern India. Mm -hmm. um, he says modern India is less liberal but more efficient. Interesting. Um, I think you may or may not agree with this, but it, it seems to me that the India of today is very different from the India of the Nero era. I agree with that. Good. Absolutely. Well, and, and th this is encouraging, okay. given what I'm going to ask you. Um, but the, 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 that in Nero's time, it was, so there was a formal entitlement to any religion. Um, that the, 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 you talked about the weight of, of history. But um, in a way, secular, pluralist, not Hindu-centric or Hindu-majoritarian as today. Now, we can get into the legal, what happened here in which state. Um, I don't really want to go there. I'll just say I'm making this is a general political sort of philosophical. You referred to the weight of history and the new India. Has India changed from the Nehruvian era? Absolutely. Uh, because uh, what uh, one of the... Uh, uh, one of the assumptions of that era, one of the, uh, you know, uh, a thought which very much guided the thinking of, of the polity and its projection abroad, uh, was uh, what we in India, you know, uh, the way we define secularism in India. And for us, secularism doesn't mean being non-religious. Uh, for us, secularism means uh, equal respect uh, to all faiths. Uh, now, what happened in reality, in politics, was beginning with equal respect for all faiths. We actually got into uh, a sort of a vote bank politics, a minoritarian pandemic. Uh, and uh, uh, that, over a period of time, I think, uh, created uh, a backlash. Mm -hmm. So, a very powerful word in the Indian political debate is what is called appeasement, uh, which is uh, you, you... We've got some track record on that too. Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm speaking here only uh, for myself. Uh, so, uh, uh, the, the, the direction in which politics went, uh, I think more and more people started feeling that, uh, uh, in a way, uh, in the name of being uh, equal, you know, of equality of all religions. In fact, the biggest religion had to be self-deprecatory and uh, uh, play itself down. Uh, and uh, I think, you know, uh, uh, a big part, I think, uh, of that community felt it was not being fair. Mm. Uh, so, uh, the, uh, the changes we have seen, the political changes and the, uh, the social changes we have seen uh, in the last years, uh, have uh, been partly at a at a intellectual level a reaction and a political level a reaction to. So do you think tolerance has gone down? No, I don't think so. Mm. I think on the contrary, I, I think uh, people today are less uh, hypocritical about uh, their uh, beliefs, about their traditions, about their culture. I would say today, uh, I think you used the word uh, when you said Martin Martin Wolf said. We are less liberal. I think and more efficient. Yeah, well, that, that bit I take as a given. Uh, uh, but I would say we are not Indian. Uh, we are not authentic. Uh, we are not uh, today uh, either currying favor before a global audience or uh, really trying to live up to uh, some kind of uh, left wing liberal construct which a lot of Indians felt was not us.